Market Monday, boys. You guys know how these things go. Mutt leaks, Mutt 25. Let's go over the content really for the next week, week and a half, sort of. Starting off with Legends. Now, we have actual like, confirmed dates for these guys. This Saturday, we are getting Drew Brees. And let me not zoom in there. Drew Brees and Ienus Williams. Drew Brees, don't know if he'll become QB1 over Will Levis. Probably doesn't have the speed, but we'll get Gunslinger. Ienus Williams is going to be one of the best DBs in the game on a bunch of really good theme teams. And then the LTD is Warren Sapp. With the following week being Herman Moore, DeMarcus Ware, and the LTD being Steve Hutchinson. So, some pretty good legends over the next few weeks. Nothing crazy, crazy. Ines Williams and Herman Moore are solid. Whenever we get a receiver in a corner, they're going to be pretty good. They are legends. They've done a good job choosing the legends this year. A few years back, we had some very questionable legend choices. Um, I'm not going to talk about these because we're going to talk about these actually in-game. Their cards are already in the catalog, but those are your seasonal rewards or your ranked session rewards for the next ranked session. I have a little theory on those that we'll get into Scrolling on up, some upcoming AKA LTDs in the form of Andrew Luck and Reggie White. We also have upcoming AKAs in the form of Denzel Ward and Teron Armstead. And if I actually go really quick scroll a little bit forward so you guys don't see, you can actually see they're not all like Andrew Luck and Reggie White, Reggie White are not going to be LTDs, but rather they are going to have set cards. And that's kind of the new gimmick. And I actually really like this gimmick from EA of putting... Having a set card, so there'll be a set Andrew Luck, there'll be a set Reggie White, there'll be a set Ray Nishke, and there will also be a vintage LTD that you can pull in the set. It makes it where the, the LTD is not that expensive, and it gives kind of a little fun, sort of reroll gamble aspect of Mutt that we just, we've just we seen in Cut, I would say, at the beginning of this year, but we haven't seen this in Mutt in years, and I really like that new um, dynamic to the AKA content. But yeah, this is actually, like, you can say your next three weeks of content. Mahomes and Nishki next Monday. Would have liked to see Andrew Luck and, and Mahomes spaced out a little bit more. But Mahomes and Nitschke next Monday. Then we got Luck and Denzel Ward, which is probably going to be the best drop of the year. And then followed up by Reggie White and Tron Arms in the following week. So we can assume 89 overall, 89 overall, 89 overall, 89 overall. And then these should be the first 90s um, based on, you know, they should actually, no, these would also be 89 overalls, I believe, right? Because I'm not sure. These might be 89 overalls because they're the Monday before most feared in which we go to 90s. So I think these are all 89 overalls across the board. Maybe that's why they tweeted out. Probably makes the most sense. Uh, but yeah, pretty good AKAs. I would say we've had a few underwhelming weeks of AKA content, uh, but it's ramping up very, very fast. Again, I would like to see them pace, space out Mahomes and Luck because Mahomes never has met a card. And I, I can almost guarantee you this Andrew Luck will be quarterback one when he comes out and probably be quarterback one until Randall Cunningham gets put in the game. But Randall Cunningham is going to be an absurdly priced card. So back no scrolling back down those are your aka's we've got team builders 2 team builders 2 we don't know if it's dropping on thursday or friday but we're getting it this week here are we'll talk about it variety of champions so we don't have all the champions by the way but for the nfc west we've sorry trey mcbride for the afc north we have mike hilton or hinton hilton uh justin root for the afc west uh afc or nfc south we've got jadavian clowney DK Metcalf is actually the master card, aka the Miles Garrett of Team Builders 2. And then we've got Austin Eckler for the NFC East. Again, we're missing like a few of them. Another one of them is Anthony Richardson. He is the AFC South champion, but we do not have the AFC East nor the NFC North champion. We're still on the lookout for those. Um, so yeah, also here are your 86 overalls. The overalls for these are going to be 86. 89 and 91 overall love the element of the grand champions and the divisional champions they've done this year yes that was sort of divisional dynasty content last year but they also did team builders and team builders like the past few years have been so bad man so bad i i really think they nailed the program this year also these 86s like aren't that bad of cards either usually team builders are like you know they yeah they're three overalls lower than champions but like typically they're like four or five overalls lower and at this point in the game when abilities you know you're not gonna run a ton of abilities on players Right, you could use this left tackle Taylor Decker on a Lions team team, right? You can use this D tackle Osa Odigizua for the Cowboys UCLA Bruin right there. Um, but yeah, you know, solid 86 overall cards. And then if we can go show it, here's the DK Metcalf, 91 overall. Gonna have all 32 team caps. He's gonna be the best card of the game. I would assume he has 90 speed if I had to guess. Um, 91 speed on a theme team. If he has 91, he becomes the fastest card in the game. Um, a little bit above Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Dolphins theme team, man. Waddle, Reek, and you can now throw DK Metcalf in there, man. Three, the three fastest receivers in the game. Kind of disgusting. Probably until Herman Moore comes out. Um, but going back down, 
now we've got the gridiron guardian part one content surprise actually we don't have all the champions but hey it is what it is a little bit of surprise probably for mutt leagues next week but your champions are and we actually do have some stats on these because they did put them in game uh this morning in the catalog it's kind of how we first figured them out chris olave damar hamblin isaiah pacheco jerome baker and zaven collins with the ltds being jake matthews and legeria sneed funny enough i actually put out a tweet about this but if you scroll up you'll notice jake matthews is always also the falcons team builder don't know why but he is uh but yeah some overall chiefs team team man legeria sneed isaiah pacheco justin reed this week they're getting a big boost jerome baker for the dolphins team team gets better and actually i know xerxes i think has the stats on these cards we're gonna have to go to media not too many fan duel, fan duel tweets or draft room keys. Here we go. Isaiah Pacheco, 89 speed, 90 speed on a Chiefs theme team. So second fastest running back in the game. Now we got a few wins. Zayvon Collins, this card. He had a great competitive pass card last uh, last year. This card, unfortunately, just not good enough, man. 85 speed is not going to cut it at 89 overall. I don't know who he's going to be chasing down. Damar Hamlin, this card is pretty, pretty solid. 89 speed, 91 zone coverage. So one of like the second a 90 zone uh, coverage or stat coverage thresholds or if you believe in that sort of stuff him and cam curl a little bit faster six foot tall next up we got chris olave 88 speed i'll be honest would have liked to see 89 speed underwhelming there's we've just gotten so many good receivers lately but he shouldn't be too expensive but then again, maybe he's 500k because that's how you know much champions work and then this is a really really good card man 85 zone 85 block shit 88 speed and you guys know jerome baker's on that coveted Dolphins theme team that is the tier one Esther theme team in the game right now so that is another linebacker we just got Junior Seau now we're getting Jerome Baker for 89 89 speed is disgusting on a linebacker man that is tied for I believe the second fastest like DB in the game right now or actually the fastest DB in the game if you don't have Terry and Arnold like that is a crazy 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 card um and then yeah the sets are your standard sets it's gonna cost 386s and 286 overall right now Guardian Champs Let's actually go back to Mutt League. So did I miss anything? I think we got everything. Here are your heroes. Kyle Hamilton, notably. Um, George Pickens. Is that Jesse? No, no, it's not Jesse Bates. That's uh, Fulton, I want to say. I forgot who he was. Um, but yeah, those are your leaks for like the next week. The one bad thing about the Team Builder 2 content, let me not zoom in there. They don't get tier 2 abilities. They only get tier 1s. That kind of sucks. So like richardson doesn't get gunslinger and like the problem with that is these cards are going to be very very expensive because they're just they cost a lot to build like they're going to be minimum probably the good ones at least 500 600k they're always going to be very very expensive because you have to build and build and build them to get them you know there's not usually crazy offers that kind of just spit them out in packs so you're gonna have to spend a lot for these cards and they don't get tier two abilities i actually didn't check dk mech i think dk yeah dk mech gets a tier two so he'll get slot app outside app if you want that he's gonna be overall just a physical freak out there but yeah, those are your mutt leaks. Let's now get into actually Madden 25. Oh, sorry. Before we actually get into Madden, Hispanic Heritage promo drops tomorrow morning in Madden 25. The only problem with these screenshots right here of these beautiful 88 overall cards is every single time they do this, you cannot actually earn these cards until a few weeks into the program. Maybe that changed this year. I would love to see that, but I'm assuming no. You're probably not going to get these cards at least until the middle of October, so they're going to be a little bit less relevant. Then. But overall, there's still some really good options here. Uh, Chris Rodriguez Jr., and also you usually can't get them all to 88. It'll be like one, maybe two card. Chris Rodriguez Jr., not the greatest card. We have Devon A-Chain, man, and he's like 400k. He's got 90 speed. Like It's hard for people to move off that card. Uh, Braxton Berrios, Dolphins theme team solid you know like a free version you would say of that tyree kill 87 overall so not bad um whatsoever this might be the best all-around card malcolm rodriguez 89 speed and is on that coveted lions theme team man 91 xl 2 90 speed on a theme team gonna definitely be one of the fastest outside linebackers he's like very comparable i would say to like daniel hunter although daniel hunter more of a pass rusher has the pass rushing stats malcolm rodriguez man if you have him like double a gap and mug man that's a really really good card um next up rigoberto sanchez best punter in the game and then anthony munoz one of the best left tackles of all time i wish we didn't have like tyron smith for season two because a lot of people already have a very good free left tackle but you can always throw munoz at right tackle and even at 85 86 overall could probably still get the job done so hispanic heritage month promo that drops also tomorrow in madden ultimate team if you want extended coverage of the market and how i make my coins Subscribe to the Coin Bible exclusively on Team Get Lucky. Link in the description. Mentioned it earlier, but the Session 2 or Ranked Session 2 uh, rewards have been revealed. 
um, in game mode. So let's just quickly go over. They did update the stats of the season one or ranked session one reward. Sorry. Edrin, your top 100 reward now has 91 speed. Also, he's going to get 32 team cam. So 92 speed on the card. 86 man, 91 zone. Going to be the most expensive card in the game, I would assume. The thing is, it's not 100 per console. It is 100 across all three consoles. There is split between PCs. Got about, you know, 15 to 20 players. And the, and the rest are split between Xbox and PlayStation. A lot of those top players are MCS guys that are going to need their, that card for this weekend's Elim event. So... I would not expect a lot of Ed Reeds in the auction house. I would, I must like, realistically, I think this is like a 7, 8 million coin card. I know that sounds crazy, at least for up until MCS. Once the MCS event is over this weekend, I think he comes back down to 4 to 5 million. You're going to see a lot of pros sell him off, but I got to pick him up for Elims this weekend, man. And I did not get top 100 because I was too busy grinding the event and head-to-head -head seasons to start the year because I was broke. Now that I'm rich, I'm, I don't need to play seasons. I could grind out rank, but... Just didn't want to put me through the, didn't want to put myself through the mental stress of just actually playing 20 ranked games a day for like the last week and a half. I just kind of cooled it and I said, hey, I got the coins to buy him. I'll buy him when he comes out. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping that someone just lists him for four to five mil, like off a rip. <laughs> and I buy him because I, I really do think he is like a seven, eight million coin card, at least up until MCS. And then you'll probably see a little bit of a fire sale this weekend. Um, So if you want Ed Reed... Um, and you're not playing an MCS this weekend, I would just recommend not picking him up uh, uh, until Saturday or Sunday, and I think you'll see him a lot cheaper, because, yeah, I, I don't think people realize how rare this card is. Like, Christian Gonzalez, um, there's been, I think, 250 or 300 of them earned over a few weeks, course of a few weeks, on multiple consoles, each console. Whereas Ed Reed is split between multiple consoles, and there's only 100 of them, and those 100 players are going to be playing for thousands and thousands of dollars this weekend, including me. Ed Reed is going to be very, very expensive. You think he's going to be one, two, three million coins. You are gladly mistaken. I, I think at, at start, you might see some few panic sales, but I, I really think he's a six, seven million coin card because he's that big of an advantage when playing for thousands of dollars. 92 speed is ridiculous, man. That That is like the Tyree kill stopper. That is plus three speed if you don't have Terry Arnold right now in game. And then the other big one, and you've kind of seen... Dalton Kincaid drop in price as a result of that. If I could ever find the card. Uh, here it is. Kyle Pitts, man. Updated to 89 speed. All 32 team cam. So 90 speed. 90 speed. And I, I don't want to say it's hard, but it is not difficult to get this card. If you played ranked pretty much at any point throughout this se session, you should have got Kyle Pitts. You realistically just, if you didn't lose any games, it was like 27 wins or whatever. Um, but like, if you just kept playing, you wouldn't lose that much for losing and you would get a good amount of wins. Like most people are going to have Kyle Pitts. If you've played, I'd say more than, I, I realistically think you could go like even, like if you just go 30 and 30, I, I you got to be somewhere around Kyle Pitts. So you're going to see maybe the potentially the biggest market crash of all time on one single position tomorrow morning. Um, and that being tied in like Dalton Kincaid might be 150 K for whatever reason. Because Kyle Pitts is better, and he's significantly better. He's plus two speed to Dalton Kincaid, and he's going to be BND on everybody's account. Um, again, that has pretty much played rank, because it is not that hard to get enough that. It's not that hard to get you. Even if you are not a good player, you're going to be playing other not good players. And I I'm telling you, if you just go 500, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, you'll eventually get Kyle Pitts if you have, like, I don't know, 40 wins. Season's been out for, what's been a month and a half um, to get this Kyle Pitts. I mean, then, yeah, in the Mani Orari, I'm not going to scroll down and try to find it, but he got updated to, I believe, 87 speed. 88 speed on Alliance Steam Team. Not the greatest card, not the worst card. Definitely usable for a lot of people. And then your new session ranked rewards. We've got Randall Cunningham. Now I have a theory. 91 overall. 89 overall was the Ed Reed reward. And he came out the or he's coming out tomorrow. The week up, we're getting 89 overall champion. So Randall Cunningham realistically is gonna be dropping whenever that first week of 91 overall champions. And that's not that far away. We have two weeks of 89 overalls. Then we have most feared for four weeks. Or most feared for three weeks, sorry. The first week of November is going to be the first 91 overall. So this rank session might actually only be a month long, which I think is going to be really, really good. This Randall Cunningham going to be God, 92 speed, all throwing thresholds. And ability-wise, they're definitely going to have to update the ability cap on him or the ability cap in the game by this time. Um, I think the season ends also too before that. But Randall Cunningham, he gets like special abilities, dashing dead eye conductor on the last buck. And then you have like a mixture. He's the first quarterback to get set feet lead. You'd also stack that with Gunslinger if they give us enough AP. You also have an ability like Roaming Deadeye. Um, you know, stuff like that that hasn't been able to be acquired so far. 
in game he is uh yeah he's also i didn't even look at these running gun times three i don't know why you'd want to spend three ap for running gun but uh making seven passes for five grants perfect passing on the run i mean if you get it for the rest of the game i'd say maybe make fearless times three I, I don't know why these are costing ap identifier that is a crazy one actually and it's only zero ap interesting you know they also have like x next to them i wonder if like you get them for the rest of the game very very interesting we'll have to wait and see that's Randall Cunningham gonna be probably more expensive than Henry but when he comes out um your other more realistic rewards for the average player Daniel Hunter eh on this card like okay that Malcolm Rodriguez card is faster he's gonna have 89 speed we'll have to wait and see but like you know how's the market the market square might have 88 speed we'll have to wait and see again I would want to say like we're a month out from these cards so hopefully daniel hunter is still like a top end edge rusher in the game i believe he will and if not they could always update them like they did with kyle pitts and then uh the other card actually might be better than that daniel hunter and that is jalen hyatt 92 speed so 93 speed on a theme team we're at 90 speed right now and that's tyreek hill month from now i think this jalen hyatt is still the fastest receiver in the game this is a really, really good work because everybody should be able to get this Jalen Hyatt, man. Everybody that plays rank. So we're going to see, man, that market in the month, man, that receiver market is going to tank in price. But excited for the new rank session. Hopefully they remove friendly quits because it kind of ruins the integrity of the mode. But that is like your upcoming content. And technically that goes live tomorrow in game, but we will not see it for a month um, of that. But yeah, that's your new content. I guess market stuff. I know it's called about market Monday, but there's not overall like my mindset for this because this is one of the biggest weeks of content man we've got team builders too we've got gridiron guardians too we've got a new ranked session um you know new season actually i believe is in like two and a half weeks like we're coming I i'm kind of just now i have to have a team for mcs that's why i have a team currently right now but in general i i think this is one of the weeks overall boost might i mention that i think you kind of just chill when it comes to buying cards i, I would kind of wait for that panic that we see you know more so wednesday like uh, we're getting a lot of cards on thursday almost every single position is going to be tapped into at some point so right like i normally would say hey go out and buy aka guys you know on monday tuesday you know i maybe would wait until wednesday night you know thursday morning potentially like yeah their prices overall the market's really really cheap right now because the offers over the weekend but like in general i i think this is one of those like weeks where you don't want to don't rush into buying anything because there's so much content coming out later in this week that, you know, nothing's ever, I don't think anything really super spikes this week. And uh, again, every position is being affected by this content that you're, you're bound to see, like, you know, I don't know if we're getting a D tackle exactly, but you know, there's, there are a bunch of wide receivers getting released this week. You know, Paul Krause, while he is really, really, really cheap, you know, we're getting a Justin Reed, we're getting a DeMar Hamlin, like, yeah, they're going to be triple, quadruple the price of Paul Krause. But even on announcement, you're going to be able to probably get Paul Krause for a slight discount because people will be panic selling. We have seen, man, panic selling has no limits when it comes to the Muck community. They can know a card is coming out. Like, for example, Dalton Kincaid. This is a perfect example I want to talk about. So Dalton Kincaid, everybody knows that Kyle Pitts is... It, like, I would say... Now, I know a majority of Muck players don't play online, but like, let's say 30% of all mud accounts 25 let's just say 25 percent 25 percent of all mud accounts are getting a bnd kyle pitts tomorrow that is the fastest tight in the game by two speed on every single theme team you would think that dalton kincaid right people would sell him prior to today right he looks like he's going for 336k I could almost guarantee you that Dalton Kincaid will be in the low 200s tomorrow. Maybe even the mid one. Like, it's like, it doesn't, like, people just don't, I don't know. Like, they know Kyle Pitts is coming out tomorrow. He's already in the catalog. He's been in the catalog for two months. They know the rank session's ending in, you know, less than 12 hours. Yet still, the Mutt community will log on tomorrow and go, oh shit, I got a free Kyle Pitts. And then go sell their Dalton Kincaid for 175k, getting 153k after tax or 152k after tax. You know, that that's the muck community. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, there is so much content coming out this week, and even like cornerback too. Like, I don't think Amani Rari is very good, but you're gonna see the cornerback market also drop a little bit tomorrow. That's just gonna be a fact. People are gonna get get whatever Amani Rari they have, and you're gonna see the 88 Joshua Williams. You might even see Nate Wiggins drop in price. Um, and as well, we're getting a bunch of cornerbacks. You know, we're getting Mike Hilton on Thursday. We're getting LeJarius in the LTD on Thursday. So, 
I, I think in general right now, like, I, I guess this is, like, don't buy anything, but, but seriously, like, just kind of chill on the market, like, panic, like, I, I was telling, I told my Discord, I told Combat, but man, like, almost panic, like, hunt the panic sellers, like, just wait, they will come, we've seen it the past few weeks, man, you will see, when, when a card gets revealed, when a card gets released, man, there will be that initial panic selling, and that's when, that's when you go scoop up these cards, like, I saw Maserati Marvin, yeah, Maserati Marv last week, it was more so because the offers were released, but I don't know who, maybe it was because Drake London came up. Like, Drake London officially got upgraded to 87 overall. Like, Maserati Marv went from 180k Wednesday night, boom, 110k Thursday morning. Like, there are so many opportunities to buy the dip, and they go back up, and then EA releases a 75% off offer and crashes Maserati Marv again. Not here to talk about that, but that's that's what I want to get through to you guys for Market Monday. I know I've been yapping a lot. This is a long, long video, but... I don't really upload that much anymore on a week-to-week -week basis because there's not that much exciting menu content, I would say, that really releases on a day-to-day -day level on Mutt. We get all this Mutt League stuff, you know, and I throw it in a video on Monday and we kind of walk through everything. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all for this video. We'll have to wait and see when Team Builders officially releases. I'm sure Mutt Leaks will probably actually put out the set in a, in a day or two so you guys can prep that way. If not, tap into the coin Bible. We, we, you know, we're making moves. We're making moves when it comes to Team Builders. We don't need Mutt Leaks. But I will see you guys another time. Until then, peace.